Okay, uh, I've given you the rest of this set of work sheet to finish. Am I right? No. Only page six. Okay, so um, for the parts over here, before the dot dot dot, were you able to finish them? Do you need me to verify, check any of the answers? Which one do you need help with? No. Any any that you need help with? Oh, okay. Okay, then I'll move on. Page seven. So sometimes we want you to use specific methods. In this question, they want you to use the elimination method to solve the pair of simultaneous equation. Okay. 4x plus 3y is 0, 7x minus 8y is 53. What's our first step? Name them, yeah. Okay, equation number one, equation number two. Okay, what do I do with them? What do you want to eliminate, x or y? <coughs> Both don't look very um, convenient, but no choice, they ask you to use elimination method. So, which one do you want to eliminate first? Y. X, X. Okay, eliminate X, meaning I must make the coefficients of X the same. What shall I do with equation 1 then? Times 2. Uh. Times 7. Uh, that will give me 28X plus 21Y equals to 0. Okay, this is my equation number 3. What shall I do with equation number 2? Times 4. They give me 28x minus 32y equals to 2, 1, 2. I hope my mental sums are correct. Times 4. Okay, well, then now I've got equation number 3 and 4. What shall I do with them? What do you want to do? Minus. Uh, which one minus which one? 3 minus 4, 4 minus 3. Which one do you prefer? 3 minus 4, how do you decide? Uh? Why why you choose 4 minus 3? Uh? Oh, because you are thinking ahead. I see a 2, 1, 2 and a 0. I think 2, 1, 2 minus 0 is, uh, results in 2, 1, 2, right? Rather than 0 minus 2, 1, 2, then I'll get negative 2, 1, 2. But if you choose to do that, I will be using negative 32y minus 21y. I'll still get a negative answer, so it doesn't really matter. Okay? Um, since you prefer 4 minus 3, let's go ahead with that. 4 minus 3. So the entire left hand side of 4, which is 28x minus 32y, okay, this whole part, is going to subtract the entire left hand side of equation number 3. So I'm going to subtract over here 28x plus 21y. Am I right? Oh, bracket. Yeah, I need to have the bracket. If there is no bracket, then there will be a mistake already. Okay. Then on the right hand side, I've got 212 minus 0. Okay, let me continue to color code. This is the okay, left hand side minus left hand side, right hand side minus right hand side. Brackets are important. Okay, so next step we expand 28x minus 28x. Ah, don't bother writing already. So negative 32y minus 21y equals to 212. Negative 53y equals to 212. Y must therefore be equal to negative 4. Okay? Now, from here, I've got one answer which is the value of Y. My answer is incomplete. I'm missing something else. What am I missing? X, yeah. So, what is the. How do I find X? Huh? Sub into. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4. Which one should I sub in? Anything, yeah, anything. Literally anything. Your friends all can choose different ones. You somebody sum into one, two, three, somebody sum into four, you will all get the same answer. You can try yourself, but uh, I'll try and choose something that is convenient. I think one is rather convenient. So sum into one four x plus three y is zero. 
sub into 1. So 4x plus 3, negative 4, equals to 0. 4x equals to negative 12. x equals to, sorry, this positive 12. x must be equal to 3. So my final answer is that x equals to 3, y equals to negative 4. Are the steps all very logical to you? Okay, anything confusing so far? Okay, I hope not. And I hope you see that your fundamentals in sec 1 are being used in these questions. Right. Um, exercise 10. Okay, equation number 1. Equation number 2. So this topic is still on elimination now. You can still use elimination. Um, subsequently, during the test, we may not specify. Then you can choose substitution if you want to. Are you, anybody want to draw a graph? Want to solve by graph? No, I think it's, uh, it's not very wise to solve by graph. Okay, so same thing. Make the coefficient the same. What do you want to eliminate? X or Y? Your choice. What do you want to eliminate? X. Eliminate X again. Okay, uh, sure, let's go ahead with eliminating x. What shall we do with equation number 1 or equation number 2? Okay, equation number 1 times 4. This gives us um, 2x plus 4 over 3y equals to 5. Then what? Then what? Divide by 4. Okay, so do we see that uh, equation 1 times 4 is not helpful at all? Okay, it's not helpful. So what if I choose to divide by 4? So I get x over 8 plus y over 12 equals to 5 over 4. Is this more useful now? Is it better? Now I get to eliminate x over 8. What? This one I will call it equation number 3. So what do I do now? Which one minus which one? Huh? 3 minus 2? 2 minus 3? Anything lah, doesn't matter lah. 2 minus 3 then. 2 minus 3. So x over 8 plus y over 18 minus, draw a bracket. Put in the left hand side, x over 8 plus y over 12 equals to 1 minus 5 over 4. x over 8 minus x over 8, they're gone. y over 18 minus y over 12 equals to negative 1 over 4. Okay, y over 18 minus y over 12. What is the LCM? 18 and 12. 3. Is it 36? Is the LCM 36? Yeah, okay, let's convert it. So, um, 2y over 36 minus 3y over 36 equals to negative. Let's change this to um, 36 also. So, 9. Okay. Now we combine. 2y minus 3y is negative y over 36 equals to negative 9 over 36. Do you notice how I, ch how I move the negative sign from here to the 9? Can that be done? Yeah, I, I've been through this, I've gone through this before. We can shift the negative sign to the numerator or denominator. In this case, I shift it to the numerator. Because when I do that, it is very clear what is the value of y. y must be equal to 9. No need anymore working already. Both have the same denominator. Numerator must be the same. Negative y equals to negative 9. So y must be 9. Therefore, we sub this into... Which equation do you want to sub it into? 1. Okay, fine. Sub into equation number 1. So we've got x over 2 plus y over 3 is 5. 
x over 2 plus 9 over 3 equals to 5. So simplify, x over 2 equals to 5 minus 3 which is 2, x equals to 4.